Hey everyone, Alex here with the Burke County Public Library. It's just taking a few minutes of your time. Um, first and foremost, we want to just say thank you for bearing with us with everything that's happening. It's been unprecedented. You know, it, it's it's just been a trying time for everybody. The board and the staff has just wanted to make sure that when we do reopen, that we have everything in place to make sure that we are doing it safely. Not only to, you know, protect our staff, but our patrons as well. Um, so we want to make sure that there's a few things that we have, you know, helping us to develop how we want to do our library services. And unfortunately for us, the library services are going to look vastly different for the foreseeable future just because we're so used to, you know, doing so much more. Uh, but we have kind of pulled back a little bit with a few things that we are doing. So over the next few um, minutes, we're going to share some of the things to kind of get you ready for when we do reopen, give you the dates to expect um, that you're able to utilize the library, and kind of some of the do's and don'ts that we're going to have in place. We are hoping that eventually um, we have a phase plan and we're hoping that we get to phase six, which is eventually saying, we are back to normal. We don't know when that will happen, but we know that it will be determined to be determined and we know that it will happen. We just have to stay together. West Virginia strong, right? So thank you for spending some more time with us. So we've kind of taken a page out of the restaurant book. We are going to do contactless pickup. That means that you will either be able to call in and or place your own holds through our online access catalog so that you can see a little bit more of the items that we have available than what we can go over the phone. It will allow you to be able to place the hold, give us time to then find the materials, give you a call and let you know a date and time to pick it up. And then when they are ready, they will be on a table in one of the foyers of the libraries with your name. You will call us to let us know you were there and we will place it on the table for you just to come in, pick it up and leave. So we're hoping that this helps you guys out. So you guys just learned that we have a phase plan in place, one through six. Phase one was pretty much we had our custodian come in at both locations and get everything deep clean top to bottom. Phase two was when we allowed our staff to come back into work, still doing social distancing and making sure that we were getting everything in place from the sneeze shields for the um, stickers on the ground to, you know, indicate social distancing, uh, you know, closing certain bathrooms so that we only had to monitor certain ones. That rolled into phase three when we eventually allow patrons to come back on premise. For that phase, phase three is really just stating that for a period of time, there is going to be no in-programming or I should say in-house programming or meeting room usage of the libraries. We're restricting the amount of people at the locations. You know, we're still highly requesting and suggesting um, that you guys wear masks. We you know we can't make you guys do it. Um, we are just highly suggesting and asking that you guys help us, um, you know, prevent the spread of this. So that rolled on to phase four, which is when we are hoping to at least start allowing programming back in the libraries, allowing some meeting rooms back in the library, but there are restrictions. Those restrictions would be no more than 10 people in a meeting room or no more than 10 people at a program. Some of our program is going to stay virtual just because some of the patrons that are, um, you know, like story hours our parents, um, some of our book club, some of it may remain fully virtual or partially virtual just so that we're still giving that safety, um, but then allowing a little bit, you know, more people to interact. Sometimes you can't get to our locations. So that would be when that would come into play. 
phase five is then when we would hopefully be able to kind of roll back a lot of our restrictions and give a lot more uh, you know, robust programming back in, you know, session, a lot more robust meeting room usage. Uh, and so that's kind of where that happens. And then phase six is when we're like, yay, we can now allow everything to happen. Uh, so we've kind of listened to what the governor has released. You know, we followed CDC stuff. We've sent this into the Brook County Health Department to kind of get their feedback. And so everything that we have on here is things that we are doing to try to make sure that we're reaching you guys correctly. Um, keep in mind that we are going to keep the contactless pickup for a period of time. Um, that way, if you can't make it into the library or you just you're a little bit unsure right then, you give us a call or you go on to our um, OPAC, which is our online public access catalog, where you can request materials. And then we have it ready for you. We call and tell you a date and time to pick it up and you're able to come in. It'll be on a table with your name and a bag and then you can just leave. Uh, so contactless pickup. So let us know where we can help. We will do everything we can. And again, thank you for staying strong with us. We know that it's been a process. Have a great rest of your day.